5G just hit the streets in 2020. So in good tech fashion, it's time to throw a wrench into the system. And 5.5G is the man for the job. Tech bites. With 5G, we saw the first mobile cellular technology that was designed not just to connect people, but to connect everything from fitness devices and street lights to heavy machinery and even espresso machines. 5G's trifecta of enhanced mobile broadband, ultra reliable low latency communication, and massive machine type communications gives us supercharged gobs of bandwidth, crazy low latency, and the ability to connect us to a million devices per kilometer squared. That's already insane. But is it insane enough? While 5G does meet our needs in the immediate future, you can't keep a good engineer down. And so new exciting applications continue to develop, like self-driving vehicles, high-definition augmented reality, and sophisticated machine vision. 5.5G is based on core 5G features, but adds improvements for real-time interaction, Internet of Things capabilities, and it allows us to address new scenarios. First, we now live in a world of machine vision. That means there's high-definition cameras everywhere, from shopping malls and airports, to manufacturing lines and firefighting drones. Normally, networks are designed for asymmetrical use, meaning we usually download more than we upload. Um, Netflix binge watching, anyone? But that doesn't work well for all applications. Uplink-centric broadband communication, or UCBC, will improve uplink bandwidth 10 times, making it ideal for machine vision and Internet of Things devices that need to send huge amounts of data back into the network. Second, augmented and virtual reality can provide immersive true-to-life experiences. But as resolution and responsiveness increases, so does the need for huge amounts of bandwidth with really low latency. That's the amount of time it takes for ones and zeros to get from your device to the network or back. And it's a key factor to making things feel real. Real-time broadband communication, or RTBC, will improve bandwidth 10 times with predictable, low latency, and reliability. Finally, self-driving vehicles and connected drones need advanced position information with really high accuracy. Harmonized Communication and Sensing, or HCS, specifically addresses scenarios where autonomous driving is key, and it applies the beam scanning technology of massive MIMO to the sensing domain. That's a lot to swallow, but essentially HCS makes sure you or your pizza get from point A to point B safely and reliably. And that's kind of a big deal. Collectively, these three new features build on 5G's original three pillars to create an even more capable mobile foundation for the digital future. Thanks for watching. Seriously, though, I mean, where's that pizza? Did they sit it next door again?